COVID-19 infections in Nagaland spread further in the interior with Mon district registering first new six cases in the last 24 hours. Seven new cases reported this morning with another testing positive for the virus from Kohima. With positive cases being detected from Haryana returnees even before tests for Chennai returnees are complete, Dimapur civil society organizations have brought to light the burden carried by COVID team Dimapur. Joint meeting held between empowered group Dimapur District COVID-19 and civil society organizations of Dimapur deliberates on management of COVID-19 and returnees at various quarantine centers in Dimapur. And the sixth special train engaged to ferry stranded Naga citizens from Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana reach Dimapur railway station this morning. A total of 938 stranded Naga citizens from these states are taken to the respective districts in 41 buses. Well, hello and a very warm welcome to News and Trends and you're watching the Daily News Bulletin. COVID-19 infections in Nagaland spread further in the interior districts of the state with Mon district, registering first six new cases in the last 24 hours. Seven new cases were reported by Saturday morning with another testing positive for the virus from Kohima. Informing this in a tweet this morning, Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pang Yu Pom said, Seven new cases of COVID-19 positive have been reported out of 216 samples tested. Six from Mon Quarantine Center and one from Kohima Quarantine Center. With this, the state total positive cases in Nagaland stand at 163 as of 10-8 this morning. All the cases reported so far are from quarantine centers across the districts of Nagaland. All the positive persons are receiving medical care at the designated COVID-19 hospitals. Meanwhile, Dimapur recorded 27 recoveries from COVID-19 in a single day today, taking the total number of total recovered cases in the state to 76, an official said. This is the highest single day recovery of cases so far in the state. With this, Dimapur alone has recorded 63 cases of recovery still this afternoon. Informing news and trends over phone, APC and Dimapur in charge for COVID-19 activities, Y. Kiketo Sema, said that the recovery rate of COVID-19 patients in Dimapur stood at nearly 45%. He said currently there are 76 patients at COVID-19 hospital Dimapur, in addition to four patients at Assam Rifles Camp Shokhavi. Attributing the high rate of recovery cases to the frontline workers, particularly to the medical team of Dimapur, Kekhedo also expressed hope to see more recoveries in the days to come and a corona-free state gradually. We would like to convey to all the people that we should not be afraid. We should have a ball. We should uh, tackle the corona, you know, with prayer, with a concerted effort. I'm also happy to say that uh, in Dimapur, the rate of recovery uh, is increasing. So far, about uh, 39 people have been recovered, according to the information. And uh, we would like to request other districts also be bold, tackle the situation. And uh, yes, it is hard, but hard is not impossible. We will be able to tackle this situation. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with the Chief Ministers of all states and union territories on 16th and 17th of June at 3 p.m. He will interact with them through video conferencing. On 16th June, the Prime Minister will interact with 21 states and union territories Punjab, Assam, Kerala, Uttarakhand, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Tripura, Himachal Pradesh, Chandigarh, Goa, Manipur, Nagaland, Ladakh. Puducherry, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya and Mizoram, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Dadra, Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu, Sikkim and Lakshmadweep. Modi will interact with 15 states and union territories 
that include Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Delhi, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Karnataka, Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Jammu and Kashmir, Telangana and Odisha on the following day. The meeting assumes significance in the wake of the rising number of coronavirus cases in the country. This will be the sixth meeting of the Prime Minister with the Chief Minister since the announcement of the nationwide lockdown in March. Currently, the country is under the fifth phase of the lockdown which entails much more relaxations than the previous ones. Unlike Unlock 1.0, the centre and the state governments have eased several restrictions for the convenience of public and businesses to ensure that economic activities gain momentum. With positive cases reported from Haryana returnees even before tests for Chennai returnees are complete, the Dimapur civil society organizations have brought to light the burden carried by COVID team Dimapur. A joint meeting was held at Hotel Saramati yesterday between Empowered Group Dimapur District COVID-19 headed by Y. Kredosema and civil society organization CSOs of Dimapur wherein the management of COVID-19 and returnees at various quarantine centers in Dimapur were deliberated. The meeting noted that since most of the returnees were Dimapur based, the government should accord top priority to Dimapur district besides distribution of TrueNAT testing machines and BSL-3 laboratory. The signatories also pointed out that while Dimapur was struggling with testing of Chennai returnees, COVID-19 cases were being detected even from Haryana returnees. They said testing of Goa, Rajasthan, Bengaluru returnees including huge number arriving by rail, road and flight were yet to be initiated. The signatories said at the present rate, testing of all the returnees will take months. Furthermore, the signatories pointed out that 700 returnees have overstayed the mandatory 14 days of institutional quarantine, ranging from 14 to 27 days without their swab samples being collected for testing. Also, some returnees lodged in paid quarantine centers were refusing to pay the bills beyond the stipulated 14-day period. They also mentioned of growing unrest among returnees and their parents that has threatened frontline workers especially the medical teams. They cautioned that if this was not addressed urgently, then a law and order problem could take place. The signatories also cautioned that unless returnees who have completed a mandatory 14-day quarantine were released from home quarantine, it would overwhelm frontline workers, accommodation and logistics. The sixth special train engaged to ferry stranded Naga citizens from Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana reached Dimapur railway station this morning. A total of 938 stranded Naga citizens from these states were received by Team Dimapur for COVID-19 led by APC and Dimapur in charge for COVID-19 Y. Kredo Sema along with officials from the district administration, police and the medical staff. After undergoing thermal screening, the passengers boarded a total of 41 buses to take them to the respective districts. The passengers were also given food packets upon arrival and those travelling to other districts were given refreshments for the onward journey. A total of 109 persons left in six buses for Perrin, 30 per persons boarded three buses for Thek, another three buses took 46 passengers to Kohima, 47 passengers, including an infant, left for Woka in two buses. 25 passengers left for Dzunopoto in two buses. 20 passengers left for Longlin in two buses. A total of 385, which included 269 male and 116 female, left for Mon in 18 buses. 35 passengers left for Kifri in two buses. One lone bus left for Mokokchong with 17 persons. Two buses carrying 42 passengers left for Twensang and 183 passengers out of the 938 were from Dimapur. Around 20 persons also left with passengers that arrived today from the quarantine centers in Dimapur. Altogether, 41 buses were engaged for this exercise. And today, special train is the longest train uh, all the way from uh, uh, Trivandrum to Dimapur 
and we have received them. Most of the uh, returnees, they have gone back to the own district. We are happy that uh, the state government could able to arrange all this special train. And uh, I believe uh, uh, I'm coming back to this place uh, uh, for the last uh, 16 times which means six special train and uh, ten other normal and Rajdhani train. And we are grateful that uh, the civil society of uh, the Mapur, they are, you know, helping us. We are happy that many organizations, they are coming forward and uh, we want uh, to see that more and more civil society, uh, they come forward to help the frontline workers. And as of uh, today, according to my calculation, with the arrival of today's special train, we might have, uh, we have received uh, more than uh, 12,000, 12,000 returning so far. And in Dimapur, we have about, uh, uh, as of today, 3,300 uh, in different quarantine center, excluding the returnees of other 10 districts who are in the Trantic uh, Quarantine Center. Ten days after recording 2 lakh COVID-19 cases, India surpassed the 3 lakh mark today with the worst daily spike of 11,458 infections, while the death toll too climbed to 8,884, with 386 new fatalities, the Union Health Ministry said. India took 64 days to cross the 1 lakh mark from 100 cases, then in another fortnight it reached the green milestone of 2 lakh cases. It has now become the fourth worst hit nation by the pandemic with a caseload of 3 lakh 8,993, according to coronavirus statistics website Worldometer. However, the health ministry said on Friday the doubling time of coronavirus cases has improved to 17.4 days from 15.4 days and its data updated at 8 a.m. this morning showed active cases at 1,45,779 and those who have recovered at 1,54,329 and one patient has migrated. Maharashtra has reported the maximum number of cases at 1,1141 followed by Tamil Nadu at 40,698, Delhi at 36,824, and Gujarat at 22,527. In the Northeast, Assam has reported 3,498 novel coronavirus cases so far. A total of 961 cases has been reported from Tripura. Manipur has 385 COVID-19 cases. Nagaland has 163, Mizoram has 104, Arunachal Pradesh has 63, Meghalaya has 44 and Sikkim has reported 63 cases till now. Minister for Planning and Coordination, Land Revenue and Parliamentary Affairs Nipa Kronu today said today seven samples has been tested for COVID-19. The total number of positive cases in the state now stands at 163. Out of this, the total active cases are 87 and 76 have recovered. As per the severity of symptoms, all the 87 active cases are asymptomatic cases. Till date, a total of 5,945 samples have been tested and results of 4,616 samples have been received and 1,329 samples are awaited. A total of 6,774 persons are presently under facility quarantine and 1,775 persons are under home quarantine. The minister also informed that the infrastructure of installation at the BSL-2 lab Dimapur is in the final stage of completion. Thereafter, the verification and registration process with ICMR will start and the lab is expected to become functional soon. Under the initiative of Kohima Baptist Pastors Fellowship, the Baptist churches in Kohima have been assigned consecutive days to cook food at NBCC Convention Hall for people in the quarantine centers. Today, the Chakasang Baptist Church Minister Sil Kohima was assigned to cook food for 1,500 people. 
The team, led by senior pastor Reverend Dr. Vevo Pesau, along with more than 80 church workers, worked at the venue. Reverend Dr. Pesau also shared of the food menu and the zeal of serving the inmates by God's grace. Serving the humanity is serving God. <laughs> Baptist Church ministers here, you know. For him, a Baptist Pastors Fellowship, you know, this is his, you know. Who's for Kari, you know, he's a task force, you know, coordinate, you know. Kutsuka, you know, you know, you know, you know, quarantine center, you know, 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 Now in the segment of Your Story, we feature this video which shows how a group of young people in a quarantine center in Dwangsang seem satisfied with the food they are being served at the quarantine centers, while some are seen saying that they would love to continue staying at the centers for the food they are being served, some are heard expressing their profound gratitude to the church members for providing variety of food. This video is being circulated at a time when there were hue and cry in some centers in Dimapur where young quarantinis had voiced their dissatisfaction over the food being served at some of the quarantine centers in Dimapur. <laughs> In another video, young people are seen doing some social work in order to stay fit during the period of quarantine. This is another video from a quarantine center at Zinaboto, which shows that young people are not only conscious of their health by doing physical exercises, but also aware of the importance of keeping their own surroundings clean. Thanks for sending us your side of the story with these videos. Do continue to send us your videos at the number flash below and be part of this venture of being a citizen journalist. That's all we have time for in this edition of News Broadcast. Stay safe, practice safe health hygiene and maintain social distancing wherever you are. But most importantly, take good care of yourself. Thanks for watching.